Welcome to the Blonde Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Today is about getting high. Don't try this at home, guys. High gun. Wait a minute, is it high gun or high guna? Anyway, whatever. But what you're seeing on the screen is exactly what I saw in the newspaper. So basically, some Arsenal players, like some of you may already know, were actually seen on camera before the beginning of the season inhaling nitrous oxide or AKA hippie crack, AKA laughing gas. Most of us know that. Most of us have taken it, some of us haven't. What's the definition of wrong? Should the players know how to conduct themselves properly in public? Yes. But when it comes to doing things in private, I think a lot of us, a lot of people do things in private that we don't know anything about. And as human beings, we cannot just really blame them. They're human beings. And besides, I did the research and I found out that this particular substance is not illegal. As a matter of fact, they said it's not illegal to possess, but it's illegal to supply or buy and sell. Well, for me, that's a double-edged sword and that's a bit of a loophole in the law as far as I'm concerned. Because that doesn't really make sense. You can possess, but if you possess with the intent to sell, then that's going to be a problem. It's a bit funny that you can actually possess, but you cannot buy or sell. Whatever it is. Well, the point I'm simply trying to make is they should conduct themselves better in public. Why? Because Arsenal as a club, just like any other club, is a company. And a company has corporate social responsibility, CSRs, that they, you know, that, that they actually live by. And the players are actually the face of the club. There is no one that's going to come to a club to actually maybe watch Kronike or the Glazers, you know, or the owners of the club. No, they're actually coming to watch the football players that are playing the game. So I think it's all a matter of knowing how to conduct yourself in public and not necessarily saying you shouldn't do some things that you would do in your home. They said it's not harmful. At least that's what the research said, that it's not harmful. I don't know much more than that. But in terms of whether the players are wrong or not, they are not wrong to live their life. They are only wrong in the sense that they need to show the young ones who look up to them the way to live a better life because they are role models to these young ones. And for me, that's the only place I would say, okay, they should probably improve on how they conduct themselves in public because whatever it is a young one actually sees, oh, hey, hang on a minute, Aubameyang, I look up to Aubameyang, yay, my hero, and then he's gonna, okay, you know what, I wanna go and take my own natural oxide, you know, those are the kind of things that they just need to be careful where they do it and how they do it. Well, it was said that it was not harmful to people, however, it has some side effects. When you take too much of this psychoactive compound, um, it's been said that it reduces your response, it slows down your brain, and I think these are two very important things that a player requires because you need to be on top of your game when you're playing football. And I think the record has it that this was before um, the season started in August. So some people are going to argue maybe that's why they lost to Man City and Chelsea. I don't know, I'm just saying, this is just my thought, but hey, uh, it could be anything really, but I'm just saying. And to be honest, if this has actually happened and we're playing very badly, a lot of people are going to be on these players back right now, believe you me. But because you know the team is actually playing alright, you don't hear too many people making a fuss about it. And this is probably why, yeah, people just you know brush it away, not, not having too much of a go at the players. But um, the news has it that Arsenal is actually going to you know talk to these players. And I think they should give them a bit of education on how to carry themselves in public because it's very, very important. And to be honest, to look out for themselves. You, maybe you can do this after you've retired, but not now that you're actually, you know, in the active state, you know, of your, of your football game. You, you know, you're in the thick of everything right now. You, 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 you are, you're at your peak and then, you know, you shouldn't be doing those kind of things in the public eye or on that camera. This is my take on this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me tell you one theory, guys. I think it's either a CCTV or someone planted a camera in there. First option, if it was a CCTV, it means maybe one security guy was probably looking through some of the archives or maybe he actually had it a long time ago and decided, you know what? I need money. Hmm. How can I go about this? All right, let me speak to my manager and then maybe we just share the cost. You know? Yeah, it's very good money because it's Arsenal. So we caught them actually smoking uh, 
no, not smoking. Inhaling, yeah. inhaling. That's what that. That's some good cash. Well, we need to investigate how much Sun actually played those people. To be honest, the source. We need to find out. <laughs> Well, for me, I think this is just a way to sabotage. Um... Well, for me, I think this is just a way to sabotage. Well, in summary, I think for me, this is something I will just brush off. The team is doing quite well. Apparently, you know, inhaling natural substances didn't really affect their game. Um, yeah, and they're doing all right. And to be honest, I think they just need to be, you know, be careful on how they carry themselves in public and, you know, the sort of things they do in public because. People are out there to hunt you. People are witch hunting, you know, the popular people, and they need to, you know, have that in the back of their mind. I'm pretty sure they thought maybe there was no camera there, and they just thought they could do what they want. But hey, like I said, they're human beings, so I'm not gonna have a go at them too much. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow. Um, Arsenal versus Huddersfield, um, and I hope we actually win that game. I'm definitely gonna be there. Probably my last game for the season, um, and I hope we win. See you guys later. Cheers. Hello guys, I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much guys, bye. <laughs>